so this is the second video on the easy to fly vertical takeoff tail sitter and uh, it finally stopped snowing enough that I could get out and try the new and improved version out and it worked quite well. Anyways, here was the first flight I had with the new and improved model. And uh, this video was taken quite late last night, actually. The snow finally stopped and uh, the wind died down enough that I could test it out. So as you can see, the long legs really help on takeoff. They lift the wings out of the ground effect. And it transitions easily into horizontal flight and transitions easily back into vertical flight. The only difficulties I had were on vertical descent, it was kind of hard to keep it going straight down. So once I got the vertical takeoff working really well, I went out and tried it at a park. And I had a lot more space to fly around, which worked out quite well, but it was just I had trouble bringing it back after it got too far away. Also, the wind was absolutely dead until I got into the air, then it's kind of picked up. Anyway, as you can see, it flies quite nicely horizontally, and it takes off quite nicely as well. Um, just flying around here, trying to bring it back. <laughs> the wind was really blowing on it, though. And there I kind of did a bit of a loop almost. It's kind of neat. Or there, that was the loop, I guess. A lot of fun to fly, though. It's a great plane, really easy to fly as well. Easy to build, too. dodging around the playground <laughs> and vertical landing and just to show you how great this plane really is here's a video of me flying it in wind gusts of up to about 12 kilometers an hour you wouldn't want to do that with the remote controlled helicopter Another thing I tried was using gyros to help stabilize it in the air. I put a gyro on the rudder and on the elevator, so as you see when it moves around, the gyros cancel out the movement. As you can see with gyro control, it really adjusts a lot for the movements caused by the wind. Except when it transitions into horizontal flight, it's really hard to transition back into vertical flight. For that reason, I prefer to fly it without gyros. However, if I was just starting off and I didn't plan on flying horizontal a lot, just hovering around vertically, I probably would use some really light gyros. Uh, you can get them at the same store that I recommend you get the Foam Cub Electronics for. And there's a link to that store on my website. So here's the vertical takeoff flying without gyros, and as you can see it has a lot more control going into and out of horizontal flight, although it is a lot harder for you to fly it in vertical flight. So my conclusion is probably that this plane is a really great plane. It's fun to fly, easy to fly, really durable. Uh, you could easily modify it. You could make it with or without the wooden legs, uh, just depending on how much experience you've had at flying. Um, one thing I'd do differently, though, if I were to build it again, is to make the legs so they Velcro on. 
it's kind of hard getting it in and out of doorways with the legs on like this. Um, and I strongly recommend you download the free plans from my website and build your own uh, simple vertical takeoff airplane. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.